Okay, we're here in Yukaipa. This is Wildwood Canyon. We're on 5th Street. And a couple blocks up here is a very strange place to me. When you think of cemeteries, you think of large facilities with many people interred. But this place is at a church in the middle of nowhere. And there's only 24 bodies interred at this cemetery. And they started in the late... 80s there's three people that have no interred dates that it happened somewhere in around the late 80s and the most recent is 2011 and that's six years ago so I don't know if that means they're done doing that or what but we wanted to come look at it and there it is it's on the left side St. Albans Gardens You see several of the nameplates are missing. The gold ones are the ones that are still here. I count 5, 7, 10, 14. I count 17. So the other thing of interest to me was one of the pictures that was online showing this place had some orbs in it and it was very spooky looking. So I wanted to come out and look at this place. It's, it's an oddity in itself. I don't know if there's any activity here or not, but very odd place. You would not expect to be out in the middle of nowhere. And if you look right next door, there's somebody's house. He's got diesel trucks parked right next to this place and it looked like in the aerial photo there's like a trampoline we got a nice bench over here there's a bench over there too it's caged in I'm sure some people don't uh, vandalize it but not something you'd expect to see a graveyard out in the middle of nowhere in Yukaipa next to a church and next to somebody's yard. I talked to some other people and I would not, um, I agree with them that I would not want to be living right next to a graveyard right on the other side of my fence. Although it is very peaceful and quiet out here. I would say coming out here at nighttime would be maybe a harrowing experience. There's the breeze right after I say that. I see here some crows off in the distance. Let's walk around the perimeter here and uh, see if that trampoline or whatever that round thing was in the uh, other yard here. Looks like whatever it was is gone now, huh? There's a big round thing in the picture, the aerial photo. Got a truck with no windshield and some old park diesel engines. Is that a beehive or what is that? It's some kind of hutch. Oh, there's chickens in there or something. Is that quail? Maybe some hens. I assume that these bodies were all cremated. That space is very small. We them to all be interred in there.
weird looking bird, huh? So, I wonder what happened to the nameplates for the remaining people. If there's actually 24 people here, then why are there not 24 nameplates? So the three on Find a Graves page people that had unknown death dates, I assume have no plates also. So it makes you wonder, when were they actually interred? But the one said the death was sometime after 1989. So I'm just assuming that the late 80s is when this was um, created here bench says 93 over there, 4 of 93. I just, I really don't understand the reason, do you? It doesn't make any sense to me. There's the breeze again. There's a garden over there, too. They built this little garden area. Not certain why. So, anyway, if you're interested in strange places, Yukaipa, this church's graveyard is a very strange place to me.